Hey guys, this is Chris from KRC Creation Soap Company. Today we're gonna to talk about oils and herbs. They both go together so well. Now I'm creating this video for my soap making community as well as for my customer base as well. Um, it's important to know what you're buying when you're buying product. Now every soap maker is different and um, when you're looking at what goes in your soap as your customer, like. Let me start all over. I did this consultation um, with this lovely lady that I wanna work with in the future, but she asked me, who is your audience? And I couldn't really answer her. <laughs> I just loved making soap. I loved, you know, making creative things. I, I, just, I just loved it, but I had no purpose. I was just making all kinds of stuff that didn't connect. So I had to sit down and think about it. What's important to me? what am i trying to accomplish and who are the people i'm trying to accomplish this for so let's answer this question one what am i trying my my whole idea is using earth herbs nature um to help supplement beautiful natural skin, hair, everything, you know? So my customer base is people who really are interested in that thing, that that, that kind of natural um, herbal thing. But also, I want to look at women, more mature women, career women, that type of thing. So a lot of my products are gonna be based on like between the age of like 25 to older women and it's going to be more of a um, purposeful um, product using a lot of herbs for different reasons for different reasons so let me talk to you about my herbs um, I infuse all of my herbs myself it's an easy process one that you could do yourself and save a whole bunch of money so here I have I'm gonna be able to see if I can move this for you I have lots of herbs here. This one is orange peel. I, de I decant them and put them in these jars so I can see how much I have. Orange peel is so good. Now, I'm not gonna go through what all these oils do, but they have properties. And the thing is, if you um, extract the properties in the right way, they change your oils into gold, purposeful gold. So here I have orange pill, and then I have um, the orange pill oil. Uh, this is, um, <laughs> I infused the orange pill and canola oil. I use a lot of canola oil in my soaping because it really goes well with soaping. Now, when I'm using uh, like, hair products, face products. I don't use canola oil. What I use, it depends on uh, what it's used for. I also combine my herbs. This is a combination of herbs for oily hair. This is my oily hair oil. Now, how do I use this one? I use my products at the end when you're using your... This is done in... Um, avocado oil. No, I'm sorry. This is done in a grapeseed oil. Um, so I know it's light. Um, it has to have a reason. And then I put in here um, bay leaves, burdock, calendula, chamomile, elderflower, lemon balm, lemon peel, lemongrass, peppermint, and thyme. Um, that is a lot. And they all do different things. Um, so, and it comes out to this with all of those herbal properties in them. I created different um, herbal blends for different types of hair. We have uh, oily hair, uh, scalp conditioning, and, uh, and dry hair formula. I go through dry hair a lot. Um, but what you do is this makes it easier for you to create your formulations and then a base formulation and then add your oils to it to give you those properties that you want. And soap is amazing because, you know, when you're making soap, 
there's a base formula that I use for most of my soaps. And then when it's time to um, add oils that don't get chemically altered through the saponification process, I know that's a lot, but that's the process of converting oils to soap. When that is done, you can start adding other things to your um, soap and those will not convert. So you actually get those properties from those, those oils. So that's why I like to put canola because canola is so good for the skin and um it's easy it, it really is a stable oil for heat we'll talk about heat in a minute but it's a stable oil for that um and i just use it as my super fat in my um in my soaps for certain things now for hair you can use the hair body lotions you can use this in body lotions you can use this in hair formulas shampoos whatever you want to use that requires oil right um you can put those in there substitute you know if you're using grape seeds substitute the grape seed oil or your herbal infusion for your oily hair for normal hair i use um fractionated coconut oil also for scalp i use fractionated coconut oil but for um uh, dry hair, I use avocado oil. Um, so we know we're getting all those things in. Now let's talk about how do we make these. Um, I have a video and from years ago that talks about heat infusion. I use heat infusion. There's a number of ways for you to um, infuse your herbs. It can be heat infusion um, where you leave your herbs in their oil for a certain amount of time, usually two hours or so, and the temperature has to be completely, completely stable and at the right right temperature. If it's too high, you'll burn the qualities. Uh, if it's too low, you're not extracting all the qualities. So it's a fine, fine thing to do, right? I was using my crock pot, um, and before I changed to my new method, it worked out pretty good. Um, then there's another way that you could do it. That's the cold infusion, where you just sit the, the herbs in the oil for a long period of time, and it extracts all those benefits into the oil. I don't have the patience for that. I never do. So um, it's a great way if you just want to get some, you got some herbs and, you just really want to um, preserve and not have that heat alteration. I don't, if you have the right temperature, it should be fine, right? Um, and the those are the two ways that I have done them in the past with my heat infusions, uh, with my infusions of oil. Recently, I have been uh, doing something different. Let me show you. A friend of mine gave me this machine, um, and it was a game changer for me. And it is my magic butter machine. Um, the magic butter is uh, made by this company. You can make lotions, tinctures. This thing is amazing. I even make my extracts, I mean, you know, my extracts with this, my tinctures with this, uh, infusion oils. Uh, it comes, you can press each button to see how long you want the infusion to be. Um, I usually, when I do oil, I usually put it at one, what is it? 160 for two hours so i press this button and it goes to 160 for two hours you can change the temperature here for two hours and it stays the absolute same and inside it starts mixing your herbs and everything uh this is amazing it takes two hours i could put um 16 ounces of oil in this with the the herbs leave it press it go and come back when it's all done strain it and you're ready to rock and roll and use this in your product so i can't say that um this is the best it's the best for me i love this thing and i've heard and i've used it before i use it, i heard so many things about it i'm sure there's other things out there that you can use to extract your herbs um um, into your oils, like I said, crock pot, mm, stove. I just love this. And 
it's great. So if you want to invest into a magic butter, um, I would recommend it. I don't really even know how much it cost because it was gifted to me. But if I had to pay for it, I'd pay the price that they're asking. It's a game changer in my business. Um, so I got these bottles. Where do you get these bottles? I got these bottles at um, the Dollar Tree. Every time I find them, I just, you know, stock up. I like them. One, they're clear. <laughs> Two, I can see how much oil I have. Um, and I like the slim corked top because it's easier to pour. And I can pour slowly with this or fast. Um, and it's easy to get the oils in there. Um, that's one. This is another one I like. I buy all the ones that they have. Um, they have so many cute styles. I need to label a lot of these. Now my jars, I use mason jars um, for my herbs and I use these type of jars as well um, for the regular herbs, non-blended. These, when I see them in mason jars, I know they're blended herbs. So there's more than just one herb there. And I don't blend that much unless it's for like a different ailment, like oily hair, you know, whatever. Uh, but usually I just combine the oils together um, in proportion. Um, usually when I blend the herbs, it's for a reason. Um, and all of those herbs work for that particular reason. So yeah, this is a great way to go. You have all your herbs here ready to pour. You think about a recipe and you're like, oh my goodness, this would be good with, I don't know, calendula. So you just get your calendula infused oil and that infusion will show up in your product if you process your product right, right? Um, oil temperature is very important. So if you're not using something that regulates the temperature, it's important that you have a thermometer. I used to use one of those infrared thermometers and I still do. And you wanna check it, your, your infusion to make sure your temperatures are staying the same and definitely not too high. Um, so that is oils in a nutshell. Um, Go back to my previous videos to see how I did my infusions. It's still um, a good way to go if you don't have something like a magic butter. Um, and it does a great job. If you want me to do a new video uh, with my magic butter to show you how it comes out, I'll do that. I try to upload videos. I'm going to try to upload videos on Wednesday. So I'll try to do it one Wednesday in February. But... Drop me a note down if you want to see that infusion. And for my customers, um, when you buy soap, anybody soap, you definitely want to look at the labels and see what's in it, right? So, um, it's get to know, you know, when you're buying my, my products, I will tell you what the herbs do. Um, you need to know that to make sure you're buying the right product for your skin like soap is soap right it's going to clean but it should also hydrate and moisturize and all that other stuff so make sure you're buying the right product for you all right thanks and um it's great to be back i'll be coming back hopefully every wednesday i wanted to apologize for my last video <laughs> on my saving money with Chris. I meant to put that on my Chris's World um, channel, which is um, up. So if you like videos like that, I do a lot of videos about my, my life, my world, what I'm doing, saving money, upcycling. You've seen some of those videos here and there, but for KRC Creations, I'm going to stick with just, you know, soap company. So when you come here, you know what you're going to see um, and listen to. I missed you guys. I'm glad I'm back. I'm really back every Wednesday. Um, so if you need anything or you want to see something, just um, hit me up in the comments, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.